Hello, I'm Toycan, and welcome back to another third channel Let's Play video. Today, I figured let's give Into the Bridge a look. I really love Boss of the Light, and this is a game made by the same developers, and it's got a theme which I love. I love turn-based strategy, I love, uh, I guess, the kind of mechanical future kind of thing, and I figured all those things coming together just had to make it a game I had to try. So here's my first ever impressions before I do any form of stream on the main channel. So yeah, let's give you the first look at Into the Breach, a game which is only available on PC now, but will soon be out on a various, you know, whole host of other devices, including potentially the Switch, which is is exciting. So, uh, yeah, we get to pick a difficulty first of all, and uh, I like other games, there's like some form of penalty for going up and down. It seems like we'll just go normal. Honestly, you know, I, I used to always like play games on easy or hard, like kind of like min-maxing, like gotta gotta have all the challenge or the rewards or just like get through it. But I think normal is like just like, I don't know what difficulty I want. So, you know, it's there is a nice, I don't really care, uh, just let me have the fun kind of option. So that's how we're gonna use it. So again, like I don't know too much about what's going on with the story. I just know futuristic looking, turn-based strategy, looked a bit like Advanced Wars, and uh, I guess there's four different levels. Oh, four different, I guess, zones. So, let's do this. The Vic are running the island, putting refugees and historical artifacts at risk. The good news is that we have old Earth military artifacts that can help in the fight. So, old Earth military artifacts. Again, uh, that, to me, oh, I guess this is it. So, I guess we just place one of these down, and then it will happen. So, we own this, and there's no Vic. We don't own this, and there are Vic. So, we have to click one of these. Oh, it's like an open-ended campaign, so where you can do it in any order you want. So this one has free vec there, and that has free vec there. What is a vec, you might ask? I guess we'll find that out. So, destroying the dam versus do not kill volatile vec. I preferred having objectives to do rather than ones to not do. So let's do this, shall we? There's civilian buildings. Or Okay, you know what, let's just... <laughs> looks like I can place down my mech, and then my tank-looking thing, and then artillery. So artillery always goes at the back, so I'll have that be, like, over here. Because then... Oh, and then there's also a... There's something else I can place, it looks like. Oh no, it looks like it. Confirm. Now we're all good. So again, this is my understanding. Again, I love I love strategy games, particularly turn-based. It's really weird. Like, you'd figure like turn-based is just objectively worse because it's slower. But there's something so much more tactical and you can think for like 40 seconds if you need to in your turn. And I think maybe it's, you know, worse for YouTube videos and that's why it's over here on this channel. But I think it's also, uh, it makes for a more thought out experience. So as you can see, I can just form the tacking right here. Oh, it doesn't, okay, wait, how do I actually do that? So, I turned off all tutorial prompts, because, and I figured, like, you know, there's too many of those, but, like, many times before, I've run to the issue where, like, I'm not actually too sure how to do this one. So, it looks like the only things I can attack, because I'm trying to attack that, but it's not uh, make anything happen. Uh, the only thing I can really attack seems to be these buildings, except even that, that, that's not seeming to do anything. So, if I go there, and then I can't actually attack, so then... Am I missing a button? Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll turn on tutorial prompt. <laughs> okay, you got me. You got me. You can you can do that for me. So, yeah, I, fi I figured, like, you know, there'd be some basic ones turned on. I just get it. But, like, click on the units and attack them. Doesn't seem to work. So, instead, I'll go over to that. Also not seeming to work. Oh, it's like... If, I'm, I've got to press 1 to do that, I think. Yeah, 1 on the keyboard. Oh. Like, you can see there's a button here. And then that activates. There we go. Okay, we got this. And then this has a 1 attack. Easy stuff. Although it's also activated with a right click, it says. So one, and then oh, there's a there's a city in the way because I drove here, thinking that's how that did. So I can't undo that, sadly. Uh, but I guess this guy can also attack, finish off one of the vex. There we go. And we also just <laughs> we just drowned one. Jeez. Okay, that's a cool mechanic that you can push stuff into water. And because I thought they were robot aliens, but they're just regular aliens. So it's I guess futuristic mankind versus semi. I guess these are like primitive aliens, and that's just what we do here. So, since I can't attack that, we'll just kind of move on, I guess, with our day and end the turn. Again, I, lo I love the one-by-one the one, one kind of strategy. Like, the oldest strategy game in the world, right, is probably chess, turn-based strategy. I'm just saying, like, although I feel like the best idea in the world, like, I always thought this would be a cool idea for gamers. Like, what if, though, we made chess real-time? Uh, although that would be cool, I think some of the success of chess is because it isn't turn-based. Also, it seems like really I should be taking down those down because I thought this was easy because I, you know, nailed all the enemies. But it seems like more and more just spawn. So maybe I've just got to hold off and that's my entire strategy. Oh, that, that's like my entire objective, sorry. Uh, we'll give it a look. Okay, so one. Only thing I can easily attack is this, really. Or I could get away and then attack that. But let's just artillery that. Oh, no, I just... <laughs> I just got my own robot in the water. Okay, well, that, that's fine. Um... Again, we'll just we'll let our city go down there because we need to have like a strong wall to get through. And then we'll send this guy here and see if I can attack this and that at the same time. I can't, okay. 
But I can probably stop it from spawning if I just stand there. I oh, know it says I, I take a damage if I do that. Well, you know, I made mistakes, but that was great. Okay, second turn. Destroyed some Vec. Done some good stuff. Um, and like I said, I, I really like the kind of... Oh, we lost some power and some casualties. That's not good. Uh, it's alright, I've only taken two grid damage. Oh, I meant to destroy the dam! Right, that's like my whole... That's my main objective here. Although I've just been like... Web attacked or something over here. Okay, so I'll go destroy the dam with one of my units. And then defend the buildings of the other ones. So let, let's just... Let's just get over here. One. Fire at dam. Oh, it only, it only takes two. And then take less than... Oh, but they also, by default, I win in two turns. So it is it is a game. Well, maybe this round is just about not losing. Because, like, that's the stage in humanity we are, yeah? It's like in a zombie apocalypse. You'll never defeat all the zombies. But, oh, I've been webbed. Which is a problem, whatever. In, in a zombie apocalypse, the goal isn't to defeat all the enemies, though. The goal is to um, just survive on. And maybe that's what we're doing here. Just, like, achieve some critical objectives. And then we'll win. Because we... We failed an objective there, so that's not great. <laughs> maybe maybe tutorial prompts are a good idea. Who would have figured? But no, I... Again, they pop up too much. Like, I, 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 the more you can work out yourself, the better. But I guess the game can never know what you can and can't work out. Maybe there should be, like, an option for, like, tutorial light, where it's, like, if it sees you're confused for a bit, it'll tell you. Like, the annoying older brother mode, I guess you could call it. So all I have to do is take that down. Oh, and that... Oh, that's a problem. I just... <laughs> just got my tank stuck in the water. Okay, I can't use anything from here, uh, but I can stop them from doing whatever they're doing. So, it looks like that was just a bonus objective, right. The the game is just won at a certain time, and it doesn't matter. Oh, I just destroyed my own. <laughs> I thought that was something. Okay, you know what? We've learned a lesson here, at least. And then this turn, we just win, as long as we don't die. Uh, although my tank's about to die, it seems. But yeah, that's that seems to be the game here. Just, like, try not to lose too many off the dudes and my mech was disabled and my pilot was killed okay that's a problem but yeah the game is about having oh gosh grid's going down this isn't the end also oh, it was just about holding off but i did i did a terrible job at holding off a lot of oh yeah, yeah i did i did die <laughs> oh but the, then you switch to a new timeline immediately that's interesting so i'll switch to um i don't know they got more xp so I just, that, I just end game over the campaign. It looks like it's a roguelite, kind of, or rogue, rogue, whatever it is. It's it's a rogue form. I forget what the actual name is. I know it's roguelite when it's a light version, but the game's over. I failed. Uh, that was my first ever attempt at Into the Breach. I think that's the fastest failure yet anyone's ever had. Maybe I should have looked up something about the game before I played it. But again, there's something interesting about going in first and just failing, uh, at least to me. So here we are again. Oh, bad news. I haven't heard that before. So, um, there's a simulation, but nope, I know what I'm doing. I'll just decline that for now. So we'll go, we'll do the other one this time. Defend the train. Okay, that's easy enough, sure. I can defend a train. And the way we'll do that is we'll, uh, get in front of it, I guess. Have our chili back here. And then we're good. Okay, let's do this. So we're just gonna walk right across there. Oh no, we just gotta get them off the track so the train can get full. Because presumably the train is gonna move a step forward each turn. And my goal is just to stop that. Although the, the number of turns remaining thing is very confusing. But again, we'll, we'll work it out as we go. So, one. Uh, actually, you know what, let, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's get a good order going on here. So I assume we want to knock that off. Because it will push him back, which is good. We want to do the same thing here, push him back. We don't want to push this guy back. So instead what we'll do is we'll move this way a block. And then we'll actually, wait, we should move further. Can we undo that? We can. We move all the way back to this bush, and then we knock that thing away. It doesn't kill him entirely, that was almost a waste. But yeah, that's I guess that's the kind of goal here. Don't lose any pilots, because if we lose a vehicle, it looks like game over. And then, see, that's only that's only the bonus objective. And we do win in three turns if we can survive it, I'm sure. I'm curious as to what makes them retreat and what makes them not retreat. But yeah, let's just, we have to minimize damage basically, which, again, that's that's an interesting objective you don't always see in a game. Oh, what's we'll your power grid? Oh, that's what made me lose the game. I, I destroyed my own building. And, okay, well, <laughs> now we know just how terrible I knew it really was. But yeah, we really have to get in there. We really have to do our magic. Just get that thing out of the way. Oh, that's the, that's the train. Uh, defend the damaged train. I mean, it was on the train. You know, I 
I, I was just talking about how that was the crucial mistake, and then I made it again. But, uh, you know, what's a man going to do? It's just, just normal stuff, right? If I knock him there, he's going to take damage next turn, which has to be a good thing, right? And then I guess I've already attacked her, so let's just try and knock them back. There we go. Oh, push them into objects. It's like good or something. So there we go. End turn. I think we're doing better this, this game. I think we're actually going to nail things. Because the tank is already damaged, so what are they going to do? That building's been tool for hundreds of years. That's sad. See, so yeah, we're definitely doing badly on our first attempt, which says something interesting about how hard the game is. Uh, or that I'm just not listening to the tutorial correctly. Uh, <laughs> again, that's 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 all fine, though. Maybe there's something... Oh, last turn. So I just have to survive this one, and we're good. I believe. Uh, so we need to get them out of the way of the train. That's, like, objective number one. Can I do that easily? Probably not, actually. So, objective two. Okay, so first of all, we don't want to knock that into the train. Unless we can get, like, this way to it. Even then we just, you know, indirectly damage it into myself. Not a good thing. That was a really bad thing, in fact. So, I guess I'll finish it off, like... No, I'll, I'll kill it if I do it that way. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to finish things off in the easiest way we can. We can't attack through there unless we move towards one. Oh, I have to get him out of the way, but I can't get him out of the way because he's trapped. Oh, I seem to have created an issue. So given that he's trapped here anyway, we'll just push him into the water. I don't want to damage my own city, so I won't. Instead, I'll move up here and just push that away. I, like, there we go. Easy done. No one died. Yeah, maybe that gets finished on his turn. Nope, he finishes the train. Okay, train's a casualty, but victory... Everyone's happy with me, except the passengers on the train. So that's region secured. We get a bunch of points for protecting civilians. We lost some of our power grid. And it seems like there's some downside to that in the end, because it seems like getting it up. You know, it starts midway through, and we can presumably get it higher. And then we unlock more missions, which presumably goes on and on and on. And then we can also upgrade these as time goes on, if I had to guess. Like, oh, look. Oh, if you have more power, you get better stats. Interesting, interesting. Install reactor. Okay, so yeah, as you level up, stuff's gonna happen. This is gonna level up first, so we'll get that done. So, let's do that first mission again, and let's like... Oh, this isn't the same mission, is it? Kill at least seven enemies, protect the coal plant. So, given that the coal plant is our primary mission, let's do that, and let's do that properly. Let's do this. Go! So yeah, staying away from them is actually the biggest objective for us. Pod incoming. Oh, that's, that's not good. Old space capsules, we don't recognize. So we'll try and protect that as well. Okay. So free missions. Interesting. Exciting. This game is, uh... It's definitely getting the same kind of feeling of, like, fast and light, where I could just, like, play and play and play for quite some time. Which is... Again, it's depressing how few games give you that feeling anymore. It's more like, play and play and would you like some... Like, for us some money? Continue. That fun you're having? <laughs> okay, so whack them back that way. Uh, I guess we want to move over here. Fire artillery there. Actually, okay, that is fine. And then, so we, we don't take any damage our own stuff. We'll just keep killing stuff as it comes towards us, and then use him as like a distraction tool. That's my strategy this time. Oh, no, wow, he just insta-shot that. Was not expecting that. Okay, so that sucks, is the long story short here. Oh, and it, oh, it, it tells you when they're threatening something. Because you've got like advanced systems or something that can tell that. So my plan here is take a damage by standing there, but then knock him into that. So he stops he stops running my plant plant, and he goes off the edge. Again, it's it's a risky one. It might end up with the death of this eventually. Oh, that didn't work. Well, oops. <laughs> and then we need to make sure that no one else is threatening him, because there is still a guy doing that. Knock him away entirely, and then we could probably just do some artillery. I think. Yeah, let's, tr let's try and do some artillery damage. Like, get him out of the forest, because he has less movement, I assume. Just knock him off the edge of the map. Doesn't work that way. Okay, easy. So... Oh, he's still going to attack my... Oh, power loss. I've got one more left. Oh, game over. That's that's how that works. Just It's confusing that it's like, as soon as you lose power, they just don't run. Like, why do they need to take down your power? But game over again. I think I am the worst at this. Oh, and I get to pick one. So I'm at least, I'm, I'm getting something each time. Like I'm keeping the XP with me, or whatever. 
Oh, and you can eventually get more pilots or whatever. So that's nice. Uh, but yeah, basically, long story short is this is going very, very badly for me. Maybe I should start easy, or maybe I should just learn the hard way. Like, okay, something's being crap. You know, th this game is really cool because it's about just defending and doing the best you can, not about, again, winning. It's like the zombie apocalypse situation. And that was the worst opening to any game ever. But it makes me want to play more. It's like, a, I, I can do this time. You, you can't beat me, game. So maybe that's what I'll try now. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed my first worst attempt ever at this game. Uh, and I'll give this another shot some other time, maybe. Maybe on stream on the first channel. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, that was that was a bit of a mess, wasn't it? But they, that was... that. Uh, oh, by the way, totally recommend this game. It's like only on PC, but like it'll come out on platforms eventually. I probably would recommend waiting till it comes out one of those. Uh, but for now, I enjoyed this, and I hope you did too. Goodbye.